And this is what, this was the first attempt at decorating the mushaf, which is the line in the middle. Yeah. And what is this? This is the uh, in Abu Bakr's era when they collected the mushaf. Ah. Before in the Prophet's era, it was separated. In which year? In the first century. First century. But this is replicas. In the rest of the uh, in the end of the first century, they added dots. Yeah. Uh, for the new Muslims to read the Quran, to make it easier for the new Muslims to read the Quran. There are dots you can see on the oh, And here we have a Mus'haf made entirely out of palm tree. This one? Made entirely out of palm tree. Ah, palm tree, mashallah, mashallah, palm tree. Khajur Kenya. In the second century, they started using paper instead of leather, stones, and rocks. Yeah. And uh, Al Khalil bin Ahmed al Farahidi uh, developed the red dots yeah. into the tashkil we know nowadays, like Fath Hawam Yeah, MashaAllah. Yeah. And uh, in the third century, they started uh, showing more interest in decorating the Mus'haf. Yeah. So they used gold water to decorate the Mus'haf, as we can yeah. see in this yeah. piece and this piece. And those three are originals from the 3rd century, so approximately 1,200 years old. Yeah, mashallah. 4th century, the new calligraphy appeared, like al Nasr al-Rayhan. Yeah. And the one on the further right is the Rayhan calligraphy. Different color variants uh, for the Tashki. Yeah, mashallah. And different translations for the Mus'haf. Yeah. Sixth century, they stopped using uh, the red dots and yeah. approved uh, the Tashki. Yeah. And they stopped using Al Kufi and Hijazi calligraphy. And they started using and approved the uh, Nasr Rehan, Muhaqqaq, Thils, Moroccan. Yeah, Machal. Which country is this belongs to? In different countries, different regions. So in the 7th century, the most popular of our country was Al Mamalik, uh, Mamalik in Egypt. And these are two replicas of Al Mamalik era in Egypt. They started using plant based decorations and gold water to write the Mus'haf as well. Yeah, mashallah. And ninth century uh, Persian calligraphy and Persian decorations in these two transcripts. Century, the first ever printed copy of the Mus'haf appeared in Venice, Italy. The piece is not uh, displayed on the, uh, in the museum because it was ordered to be burned straight away after printing it because it was a business-based idea, so just to sell it and profit uh, from it. So it was, uh, didn't have uh, any uh, audit or it, was, it had a lot of mistakes. The 
11th century. You can see the Sokowi era decorations, so from Persia. And the one on the further right is uh, Al Mulla Ali Qari from the Uthman era. Yeah. This is a Mullah Ali Qari. Yes. Yeah, Mashallah. Mullah Ali Qari. Very famous. Yeah. In the 12th century, uh, the second printed copy in Hamburg, Germany, the one displayed in the middle. Uh, it was also not approved because it had some mistakes. Yeah. But between the 12th and the 13th, between this print and this print, yeah. Uh, the first ever correct print was in Tatarstan, yeah. which is below Russia. In the 13th century, the fourth print, which is uh, Gustav Flogel, also in Germany. Yeah, much. It was approved in Europe. Yeah. And the first Muslim countries that uh, was specialized in printing the Mus'haf was in Egypt, city of Bula. Yeah. City of Bula and then KSA and then Yemen. Yeah, mashallah. First Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. That specialized in the yeah. Holy Quran. Yeah, mashallah. But Muslim countries with prints was in, in Arab before. Here the ones on the right was the Egyptian prints. in the 15th century until now we have the whole Quran in our phones, on tablets, different yeah. technologies and yeah. brain from for the blind. Yeah. So it's a big and long journey. Yeah. From rocks, bones yeah. and leathers yeah. until yeah. these new digital yeah. And this is a summary of the first call. Yeah. from the beginning to the end yeah. and how it was difficult for us to read it it's all the same verse yeah. just how it was easier and easier with each, with each century yeah. until now we can read it uh, clearly and those are the materials they used uh, for the writing of those half